Hey friends, welcome to Uniquely Vintage You. Easton and I are going to take you thrifting with us, so let's go inside and see what we can find. Hi guys. That's a saucer. See what those white ones look like right there. Look at that. Oh yeah, look at that. That's so cute. Just needs a little washing up. Yeah. Let's see that pink dish. Oh, there's, there's a purple one and a pink one. Oh, well, let's look at them. Oh, yeah. Huh. Cool. Friends, Eason is trying to help me find a butter pat like I found last week. So we are at the same thrift store. It's not half price day. But we thought we would just go in and check it out. He is so precious and always helping me look for the things that I love. Open it for me. I found this cool thing. I don't know. I think it was. Looks like you can store a bunch of papers instead of uh, any kind of letter. I guess they close it. It's unfortunate we like that. I don't know. That's cool. That's cool. Maybe some free room if you want to put some paper in it or style it. Put some pictures on top. Yeah, Maybe you know how to do it, don't you, baby? Cute Christmas thing. For mother, mother. What do you think of all this? Yes, if you wanted to get this for your kids that are about to start school, you might hide this from them in a closet. That's always a good way to do it. And then put it in their backpack and they'll see this. And then either if you're going to give it to your teacher or send this to your kids and they can have a heyday draw. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. You're full of great ideas. <laughs> what do you got? Uh, guys, if you know what this is, Please leave a comment below. If anybody knows what this is, please leave a comment below. I want to know what this is. I think it, I think it holds a doll up. Maybe it holds a doll up. I think so. Or maybe they're like tweezers. I don't know. But guys, leave a comment down below if you know what this is. Friends, somebody asked me on one of my other videos if this was a milk coat glass that was black or red. I'm not sure, but I just wanted to ask you guys if you know. The price was kind of high, so I just wasn't sure. And of course, this chamber pot I thought was amazing. It was $40, and it wasn't half price. It wasn't half price day, so I just left it because I thought that was a little high for that pot. But maybe I'll be able to go back on half price day and see if it's still there. But you know, it's just fun just to see what the store has. But if you guys know anything about those dark red glasses or black, please uh, leave me a comment and let me know. Okay, I thought this was gorgeous and the price was, I believe it was $89. So probably $90 and again, this was not half price day, but I thought that this was amazing and it was built so well. Now my daddy made my sister and I a hope chest like this with cedar and so that's special to me but so I don't really need this but I just thought it was truly beautiful and definitely an antique. And then I'm going to show you look at this gorgeous little buffet. I thought this was so pretty. It was missing a lot of the handles and it did need some work but look at this. This could be restored to be just so absolutely gorgeous. And I think the price on this was $90 as well. Mm -hmm. 
it's so funny what you see. I mean, this random picture was just laying there. I thought that was so funny. And you know, I'm looking at this tin. I thought this was a really pretty galvanized tray, $6.98. But then when you look inside the price, it says $2.99, which that would have been a steal. But it just uh, always amazes me what the thrift store charges sometimes. Now we're moving over to Goodwill, and I meant to grab this and put this in my buggy or my cart, but you know what? I just didn't get the, I wish, I don't know. Why do I do the things I do? I always watch my videos back and I'm like, oh yeah, I forgot about that. I wish I would have grabbed that. But you know, this Goodwill has got a lot of really good things, so I just can't wait to share with you some of the things that I saw in the store today. I thought these plates were just so pretty and they are actually made in England so I oh I thought they were really pretty I left them behind because I just don't have room to store a lot of the stuff but I just thought those dishes were absolutely beautiful Then I saw these really pretty green glasses and I told Easton that I remember drinking out of some of these when I was a little girl. And I just love sharing things like that with Easton. And then when I was rounding the corner, I came across these ironstone cups. Uh, they're independent ironstone. They're so pretty right here, but I didn't need them so I left those behind. Then I came across this really pretty picture of Jesus. I thought this was so pretty. I even liked the frame that came with it and it was only $7.99. But since I have a Jesus picture that I love, I left that behind. Then I seen this. I thought this was the game. I was so excited I was going to grab it. But then I realized it was actually just a picture. But isn't this so precious? I just thought that was adorable. Then I found this gorgeous milk glass vase. It was only $2.99 and I thought that was absolutely beautiful. I always cut a lot of flowers from my garden and so that would make a beautiful addition to my home. Okay friends, as I'm doing this voiceover, you might hear in the background a lot of noise and that's because we're under some severe weather. It's really storming. So I just, if you hear a noise, that's what it is. But I just wanted to share with you some of the things that I found in the thrift store with Easton today. So I first I got this little bitty terrine. I find, I think it is so pretty and it'll be perfect to add to my collection. I'm not so sure that this is old. I don't think it is but it's still super cute. The price was really cheap and I thought it would just look so good mixed in amongst my white pottery. So I thought that was a great score. And of course, I could not leave this gorgeous milk glass bud vase behind. I thought the details on it was so pretty, so I grabbed it as well. So the next thing I found was this adorable creamer. It looks like ironstone. I'm not sure if it is or not, but it does match some of the ironstone pictures I have like this or the creamers. So I grabbed this for only $2.99 and that was a steal I thought. So I'm so glad that I found that today while we were out thrifting. And you know, I love these Swan Creek candles. They smell amazing. And so this was just sitting on the shelf and it's never been burned. It was brand new. So I grabbed it for $2.99 and I, it smelled so good. So I'm excited to have that. That was a great buy as well. 
Then the next thing I saw, which I thought was so cute, and it just reminded me of Easton, and I will probably give this to you, Cheryl, so he can we can style it in his room because it's so cute. Look at these pencils. Are they not just so adorable? Oh my goodness. I love these. Friends, Easton found something he wants to share with you as well. And I just wanted to tell you that I was gonna put this on my grandpa's grave. It says, world's best dad, Grandpa. Aww. It was 99 cents. That's right. Yes. That's so sweet of you, honey. And I'm going to put this on his grave. Aww. Love you. Love you. So let's light this candle and let's style these few things that I bought today. You know, not every time when we go thrifting we find a lot of things. Today I just found a couple of things, but I just thought they were so fun and I wanted to go ahead and share it with you. Now friends, I still have up my Easter decor and I will probably be taking some of that down in the next video and just kind of rearranging my home a little bit. But I'm just going to add this other creamer right here. And I'm just going to go ahead and send my Easter Bunny right back. And I just think it's precious. It'll probably stay right there. And then I'm just going to style this terrine over here with this other one. And I just think it's just such a pretty addition. I just love how small it is. And then I grabbed some really pretty lilacs from outside. I know, like I said, it's going to storm. And so I just wanted to go ahead and cut a few little pieces off and put in this little bud vase. I think it's so pretty. And then again, I'm going to give these to Cheryl for Easton, but just to, for the sake of styling them, they would definitely work right here in one of my cabinets, or you could take them apart and just use them in different places. But I just thought those pencils were so sweet. Friends, thank you so much for going shopping with Easton and I today. We appreciate y'all being with us. And before I go, I just want to share with you this beautiful Bible verse. I lift my eyes to the mountains. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Friends, no matter what you're going through in this life, I hope you'll always remember that God who made the earth, who made the heavens, is always in charge. He cares about you. He loves you. And he's got the best plan for your life. So if he can create the heaven and earth, he can fix whatever it is that you're going through. So I pray that you will always keep your eyes on the Lord. Friends, thank you so much for being here. We appreciate you going shopping with us today. It was so much fun. And we just want to say thank you. And we look forward to seeing the next one. Bye, friends.